Hello everybody, welcome to the CCL Season 49 Round of 16 match between Tycho25 and his Wood Elves and Help and his Lizardmen. In the booth with me is Kalon and Purple Chest. Hello. 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 Well, we've started with the Blitz, which is absolutely yeah. brutal. For yeah, we have. Um, and that's why you always mark your treatment, even if you just yeah. put a tiny little skink on it that you plan to dodge away afterwards. Away. Yeah. Yeah. So immediately comes in and clears the ball. So, I mean, there is the three and eight is kind of favorable, right? Yes. But uh, if this treeman catches the ball, we're in for a fucking lovely Well, game. even oh, more, because both the treeman and the Saurus have reasonable chances of not being able to catch it in the rain. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. it bouncing over the lines. There's a reasonable chance over the line here. For sure. Mm. But even just the opportunity to redeploy after, um, I mean, it's, it's basically more of a, a P. Diddy with a free tree hit. Mm. Yeah. Oh my god, I thought he was going to catch it then after you called know, it. Right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, and it was the touchback, so he does at least get to put it onto the blodger uh, down the back. Oh, and no, he, he puts it on the Saurus. I don't hate it because of the, uh, you know, just the ability to get a Saurus to do stuff. And, uh, Never a bad thing, just a lot of Saurus. Yeah, and of yeah. course, you know, almost no one brings strip ballers to these sorts of things. <laughs> so there's, uh, there's no chance of, oh, hang on. Well, there's only two of them, so... The elves yeah. do happen to have a couple of strip ballers, in which case it's a terrible decision. I mean, there's no there's no sure hands to put it on, and at least no. he's strength four to the strength four. two, so, yep. you know, I think yep. this is fine. Uh, help yep. is down TV, Ooh. he's got a wizard. Um, as an but your only other option is keep it in deep in the backfield, and, you know, elves are quick enough to come for it there, so... Yeah. It was quite the at least it's there. facing uphill dice. Yeah, I'm unless sure. the elves you know, had some sort yeah, of yeah, that's the that's the thing. So I, I and it is a four. it's a black saurus as well. So it's a pretty nice lad to to be carrying on with the lack of sure hands elsewhere. Doesn't activate the crocs as well, which I like. Uh, tree does take root, but does get the smash in on the uh, rookie saurus. But there's a guy who's going to get hit by him. Yeah, Let's grab so keeps him around for another punch. Another go at him. Oh wow, he's going all in here. Looks like it. Coming straight through the middle. Oh, he's a strength four dancer. I didn't see that fella. Yeah, that makes the uh, ball carry a little bit less great. Fucking war dancers. Yeah. Oh, he does have mighty blow. Cool. So there's mighty blow plus two. Yep. Strength four mighty blow tackler. So yeah, I mean, he, he's going to terrorize skinks as well, isn't he? So oh, wow, we're going fully in here. Fully Oh, but he's in. not strip ball because he's got pro instead of strip ball. That's right. Yeah, yeah. I'm remembering this team now as I look at it. Yeah. Just one guard. Yeah. And has uh, based the crocs. Yeah, he could have just, could have just assisted with a non guard here. Or, or like, yeah. or that guard could have assisted from here. Interesting. Yeah. Isn't it? When the nerves of steel on the catcher as well is pretty fun. Yeah. I'd rather my opponent had. Oh, it's a thrower. But yeah, I'd rather have nerves of steel than. And that's why it sort of didn't take. It didn't, uh, it didn't okay. rob him of a guard. That's it, fair. It did not rob him of a guard. Yeah. Mm, very aggressive from the elves. Mm, mm. As an Don't elf coach, it. Purple Chest completely used to these kind of turns, of course. Yeah. yeah, it's these turns where you do have to really go for it if you're going to as the elves. Um, I, I'm always saying, you know, all in or not in at all. Yeah. Mm. Oh, wow. Ball carrier blitz. It's almost like carrying the ball on strength four and keeping one guy safe is a really good move. Yeah, isn't it? It's, it's a really interesting move. I'm n still not sure in my heart how it's going to work out, but so far, so good. Well, I mean, yeah, so the, the strength forward dancer not having a strip ball. Like, is, 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 where's his other dancer? He doesn't have another dancer. No, he's just got one. I don't know if the other one's missed yeah, next or what. So he's got strip, da strip on uh, the Dauntless uh, catcher. So that's kind of fine. Mm. Let the dodge off there because the floor is better than taking the hit. Except they do still come with dodge, and um, you can dodge in off those skinks reasonably easily. Yeah. Um, sort of 55% if you've got dodge. So if you cancel dodge in with a dauntless strip ball, it's a, there's a fair chance of getting a, a shot at the ball that way. Yeah. I mean, nothing is certainly blah blah, but I'm just saying it's... it's... Indeed. That's the pow. And the cars. Well, get the full cars there. Classic Reddit strats. Oh, MNG as well, so he doesn't apo. No, he doesn't. Hmm. The, the ultimate skink. It's gone. Yeah. Yeah. And here comes the wrestle strip and the dauntless and the one D. Dauntless works and he gets the one D straight away. Wow. Okay. 
Well, he found a route in that was a four plus, not even a five plus. So that's seventy-five percent odds of getting there. Mm -hmm. Oh, he could have just thrown in the tackle zone as well because he's got no to steal. Mm-hmm. He didn't. Th oh. Yeah, he just—he's just, he's trying to run away with it, isn't he? Rather than punt it on. And he eats the bolt. Ooh. <laughs> wow. Wow. That was a okay. Scatter. Oh, well, the Skink to... can take this guy out because he is only string two. I mean, they might be able to. He's yeah. one of those elves that everyone loves, though, that can sidestep, isn't it? Yeah. This guy's going to do it, right? Yeah. So you punch him. Yeah, and get him out of the 3D. way. Yeah. Kablam, kablooey. Oh, and get him on the... Him. Yeah, on the third. Glad he made it third. The third dice did it, lad. Yep. yep. And that's really nice because now, obviously, that Saurus is on three players, which is pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, it is. Yeah. But he has to make this pick up. On the strength four. <laughs> he sure Ooh, has to make this pick up. He does, yeah. Ooh. Oh, and he fails the four. Oh, God. I think I might have seen the play guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, this sort of writes itself a little bit. <laughs> I mean, the fact that the skink is your side sidestepper, that's your your great saving yep. grace here. Yeah, 100%. Thank goodness he doesn't have, you know, a really strong hitty piece with tackle to come and deal with it. That would be... <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoopsie. Oh, it doesn't get him! Pro! Oh, wow. Pro. Oh, wow. The... Pro doesn't work. Why would you... Well, okay, fine. Oh, I'd, re I'd hard re-roll that. I don't know, he's only got two. I, I, I quite like the pro. Okay, okay. Yeah, I, I think I'd have re-rolled that. I think that's... Yeah. That's just, like, you just score, right? First half and all that. Yeah, I suppose with the t it's just a 3+, plus. it's just a 4-plus pickup in his tackle zone with sure hands, in, or with not sure hands. But, yeah, oh, wow. Just he's going go for it. Anyway. Oh, he's rolls so oh, oh, he snakes it! He had feet as well! Wow! wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well. <laughs> However, it's also in a sexy position, isn't it? Because with the rain... With the strength four tackle on the skink that's nearest, you're gonna have to deal yeah. with that with your tackle Saurus. He's kind of lucky that he got KO'd, to be honest, because mm. he was first gonna get kicked in the face. It sounds very much like you were gonna go there and do it yourself, Kalon. Is it? Were you that? Well, it's, a, <laughs> it's a dancer, you know. How did you foul him though? You've got you need everyone to get the ball and protect it, right? Yeah, it's, That's the yeah, it's a good job he removed that from the field or I was gonna fuck it up. I tell yeah. you. Was <laughs> <laughs> fucking having him. Yeah. <laughs> I don't normally hit girls. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to fucking go? Yeah. <laughs> I would, I'd have him. I'd have a good fucking ball hop off him, so I would. Yeah. He's no relation, like. Another three. Hey, gets the ball. Gets it. Okay. He really doesn't like activating uh, this Crocs, does he? No. Uh, I imagine some stuff has happened previously <laughs> that made him go, okay, so let's just not activate that guy. Yeah. Uh, straight in with the... Uh, oh, no, he's not. I thought he was going straight in with the strip there, but... Uh, I mean, the Crocs is doing some work up there, isn't it? So mm -hmm. It is, yeah. It's a nice, um, strong uh, corner that he can cage around the next turn. I just feel yes. like, you know, because things are going badly, he should have tried to high roll with him a little bit, you know? Yes, I kind of agree. Mm -hmm. But the problem is you're leaving... To, to, you either got to push one of the elves off and hope you've killed it to stay on the other, or you're accepting that you're letting one of them go. Yeah. And I don't want to let them go. He's somehow, he's somehow surviving here, isn't he, Hell? But, like, this yeah, is a good turn. He can reconnect. Uh, oh, yeah, he can, yeah. He's already moved this one. Um... Hmm. Wow. Well, okay. I mean, yeah, this guy's very fast. He is recognizing the fact that the strip ball is the thing he has to worry about. I suppose if he can make the um, cage around that fella, then uh, he might be able to put the foul in on him then. But uh, with the stun there, he can set up to do it next turn. It's funny, I wouldn't have done that. I would have just blitzed this guy and moved up. But yeah, that's probably better, isn't it? A 3D, the, uh, yeah. 3D yeah. the stripper. That is a. Uh... You know that he's going to activate the Crocs now and dub skull, right? 
Uh, yeah, probably. Or at least, or at least, Bonehead. Mm-hmm. First time you ever did anything. Yep. That is, uh... <laughs> oh, called. Yep. Yeah. Guaranteed. Yeah, guaranteed. He's he helped. He's sitting there going, that's why I don't fucking activate him as well. <laughs> no, can you imagine just not activating him for the whole game? Yeah. <laughs> of course, uh, if, we were play if he was playing Calcium as well, the important thing is to not remind him of the fact that he's uh, boneheaded. <laughs> Too soon, man. Too soon. Yeah. Poor old Kaz, man. Yeah. Yes, I um, I listened back to some of your uh, cast of that game, mm -hmm. where Calcium came on and explained his actions. That's it's awful, isn't it, poor Calcium? Yeah. It is a bit rough. Yeah. I mean, you know, as we said afterwards, if it was if it was any of us, we would have just told him as we were playing the game. Like, it's not even a, a, yeah. a like because you, you you know it's just you're you're communicating. I mean, I would, as the game but goes I, on. I just would pretend I would. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'd be the guy sitting there waiting ten minutes, thinking I oh, fucking got him here. Mm -hmm. He's forgotten that. Oh, I hate. And this then the one. minute, the minute he ended his turn, I said, I'd say, Are "You sure you finished?" And then I'd roll some dice very quickly. Right. So my turn had definitely started. And I'd go, "Oh, right. So I've moved that. Moved that. Right. So I have taken an action. Oh no! Look. Oh, I just spotted you. Haven't moved any of your big guys. Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah. Would oh, you do I'm that? So sorry for you. Yeah, you might do it, I suppose. Would you do it? No, of course I wouldn't. <laughs> no, I'd be like you and pretend that I wouldn't. <laughs> um, I wouldn't but with calcium, and I probably wouldn't with anyone, to be honest. Like, I'd probably... I don't think I would, yeah. I've, I've, de better. I've definitely done things like that in games where I've reminded them of things that I shouldn't have reminded them of. Yeah, so. I have to. Yeah. yeah, and to my detriment as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I'd I, love I to think I would remind them. And, I mean, yeah. I, there is a line. There's I have... In a very competitive sort of towards the back end of a tournament, mm. you know, in games five or six, where you're playing to really decide who gets to win that tournament. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then I'm not sure how much help I'm going to give you because by then, really, you should. You know, if you're up at that end, you're supposed to be concentrating. It's not fun. Oh my mm -hmm. god, he just gets wow. the one in three. Yeah. There's been a lot of this, hasn't there? This game, it's been. He oh, catches it with nerves of steel. Oh, nerves of steel. <laughs> and we're at turn six, so. Oh, and he oh fucking fails his GFI. Brilliant. Of no? course he does. No, it's not. No, it's not. We so. plugged them on. But I mean, he, he made a base cage. There was no need to either. Like, yeah, okay, he no. got this foul yeah. in. But he could have just had the full cage up here. That's what I would, I would have had a full cage up here. Yep. Uh, like a ma mega cage, mega bunker. He could have blitzed whoever was stood there and had a mega bunker up here. Um, but I guess, you know, he was, and then, you, then you're pretty safe from this strip because you could have made it really hard to dodge in. And said he yep. went for the foul and... Yeah, gave that gave that base cage up. Didn't he? Um, cool. um, yeah, I suppose the business end of an event, um, and if you're playing somebody who is uh, anxious to win it and is the type yeah. of person who would do it to you, then yeah. Yeah, that would change the, the parameters. And yeah. obviously people I know nothing about, I would assume, would do it to me. Hmm. Yes, there's some people. There's some. I mean, yeah, you know, there were some people that I guess I would do it to, and some people I wouldn't. And then, yeah, I just don't think general, it's clear cut as saying I would definitely tell people. I hope I would, yeah. and I genuinely do, and mostly I think I would, and I know yeah. I have in the past. Yeah. But I can also remember a game where I did see the mistake they'd made. Not when they made it, but you know, a couple of about a minute before their turn ended, and I did think, mm -hmm. no, this time that's a proper mistake. I'm going to take advantage of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I don't know where that line is in my head. It's, sure. I guess it's it's grey and it depends and yeah I think that's it probably helps if I think I've already got the game won. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> that helps me be nice. Yeah, the fact I was playing Chaos Renegades would definitely encourage me to <laughs> to let him off with things and obviously yeah. calcium as well. Yeah, so I just it's not clear cut in my head. That's fair. I can be a dick too. Everyone can. Yeah, everybody can. Yeah. I mean, Kofo was a lovely, lovely, chuckling, sweet-natured, gorgeous man <laughs> who would do absolutely anything to win a game of Blood Bowl. <laughs> yeah, I would no, not like. I would not let Kofo off with it. You know, hundred percent. No, nor would he let you off with very much. Nor would he let you off. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's no way I'd let Kofo go. <laughs> but, but then also, Kofo wouldn't do it, like no. ever. <laughs> no. So there is that. So, but you know, I, like, I don't uh, think his programming allows him to make mistakes. 
Yeah, and I, funnily enough, like you know, I timed out. I timed out. What's he called? Uh, you know, end zone and fumble. Oh. Like I, I, I time out. I don't time out end zone every time because like you can't afford not to, can you? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like you just literally can't purple, afford not to. Time. You're saying end zone. You meant purple goop. End zone. End zone. I, I end timed zone out end zone. End zone. Slow. Oh, sorry. Yeah, okay. Famously slow coach on fumble, but extremely smart. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's, you cannot let him. You cannot let him take. You know the time that he wants to take, right? So, well, he he never takes the time he wants to take, but you can't let him take as much time as he does. In yeah. The time he wants to take is it actually like a couple of weeks to think about every move. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. And then he would genuinely get bored mm. out and move from every move. Starts with the loner hit. It was the only on. scoring thread he had left, but gets the full oh. power in the removal with the loner. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's a wow. And he can score with this. This catcher can score. Yeah, but he's made it very difficult. Yeah, the, the, try and the, the GFI was. There were easier ways yep. of putting an option in. Oh, there was no scoring threat because it was the lizard's half, of course. So. Uh, of course. Ah, yeah, yeah. right. Probably should have tried. I mean, maybe, maybe he was trying to chain him forward somehow. Oh, uh, sorry, Elbow. Uh, we assumed you were sorry. It's because we were here all day, and we're just assuming because we were because we're chatting with each other, and occasionally forget that people are popping now, in. Here we've uh, got to bang it in quick, don't we? As the Woodies, yeah. we only got one set of KO rolls. We got plenty of elves KO'd. I mean, yeah, we, this guy we stopped the drive, but we're not going to be able to just yeah. mess about here. We've got too no. few elves. They're too quick and too strong. We need to get something forwards and score, don't we? A hundred percent. Specifically because the, the, the you have to have another go at that dancer as soon as possible. Uh, so there was a tabletop event run over the weekend. Uh, one of our friends was at it, at it uh, Albo, and um, uh, during one of his games, he uh, forgot to reactivate the front of his cage, which was an ogre and a troll. And um, he uh, he just forgot to reactivate them. Uh, they were they'd both boneheaded and really stupid accordingly. And uh, so he didn't re-roll the he didn't roll the two pluses on, and his opponent um, didn't remind him, didn't say anything, and then uh, blitzed into the cage because uh, it wasn't a cage. So that happened. Yes, sorry, I was just running down the short version. All well, the wide wide LOS doesn't work with that. Uh... Like, that's weird, isn't it? Because the wide LOS just does not work with chevrons, and this is why. That was a very strange yeah. decision to... Yeah. To, uh... To wide LOS. Oh, wow. Yeah, this power, I do. though. For yeah. Me, that was, like, an essential pal. Essential, yeah. It's like, this isn't screened at all. Like, he just literally had to pal. That is... That is super lucky from... Tyco. Block was block. Yep. Yeah. Hello, Thymir. Yeah, I mean, of course, and like he didn't block with them, right? He, like he obviously intended to just activate them. Yeah. He didn't block with them or anything, or move them. You know, so like, it's just I don't know. I, but I, I mean, I definitely would have done with the being Kaz, but probably most people would have done. Like, cause I, I just do that all the time. Like, I just play, I just play fair to my to my detriment. Yeah, I, 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 I I'm the same. I would, uh, cause I'm talking through everything, and I'd go, oh. Remember, you didn't have to. They were boneheaded, so you'd have to reactivate them. I'd just say it. Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah. I. Oh, this is terrible. Isn't it? This is very arrogant. I also think that I can let them do everything fairly and still yeah. beat them somehow. I don't think that you know. How, I, I, I move an idea that exactly. Well, hate... That's why I wouldn't do it with KFOG. <laughs> <laughs> but I'd hate, I'd hate to have beaten somebody over a technicality. <laughs> is the other thing I would feel yeah. like I'd feel bad about it. It's the same. I talk to people about fouling a lot, and they're like, "Oh, I just don't really like the idea of fouling." And I'm like, "Well, you know, you're just you're, you're misunderstanding the concept of what the foul is for. The foul is, you know, a, a, an inbuilt mechanic. That's the same as blocking. You don't apologize yeah. for blocking. So why would you apologize for this? Yeah, it's and just if, a mechanic in a video having, game. Exactly. Having said that, if you are in a situation where you're about to foul somebody, and you go, "Well, this is a dick move, and I'm annoyed about something, so I'm going to foul them." Don't yeah. do that. Don't do like, that, Phil. No. If that's Ooh. if that's what you're. He did it about. wrong, and then he had to dodge oh. out. Oh my god! Oh. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> at least he but at least he rectified elves, his right? mistake, I guess. But that's that's the thing. You do that it's sort of problem with a dwarf, and you just oh. screwed. Do that with an elf, and it's a two plus. Yeah. Oof. Wow. 
Yeah, gets the three and goes in, yeah. Wow, that was, that was, he's living a charmed life this game, isn't he, Tycho? Mm -hmm. He really is, yeah. So, Feeding uh, some uh, some elf chocolate all over the pitch there. <laughs> yeah, indeed, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he gets both his both his KOs yeah. back as a reward. So yeah, absolute charm life. And this guy stays out. Yep, there you yeah, go. Sometimes, it. sometimes uh, Nuffle decides the match, doesn't it? Um, funny well, look, it's giving the elf a good shot. Things. That's for sure. I mean, we didn't see the lizards manage to get over the halfway line with their own ball in the first half. No, but funny enough, saying about like playing fair and stuff. I remember the last time I played forty k, we were at a doubles tournament. We were in the final. We were playing. Uh, we were playing oh, two yeah. people who were tournament right. regulars. Mm. And first turn, uh, fired a cannonball, killed their general, and they never rolled for crumbling, like the army crumbling, yep. until yep. like turn five or something when I remembered. And they knew, you know, they were like taunt regulars. Oh, they did, I they haven't knew. played for yeah, seven yeah. years. They just deliberately cheated. So, you know, mm. absolute scumbags. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I remember there was a conversation after the... Um, uh, the, was it the UKTC that was televised? And uh, there was the guy in the final table who forgot to, who had, who had accidentally put on too many players. Oh yeah, and it yes. wasn't UKTC, I don't think, but it was it was NAF champs, maybe. Uh, it was the NAF champs. Champ. Champ. It was NAF champs. Yeah. And uh, the uh, because he had forgotten to put on a player, uh, the the rule of the, the the rule book says that what you do is you um, uh, your opponent picks the player that gets sent off. So he sent off his death roll. Yeah, I'd have done the same. Uh, yeah, I've done the same. Yeah, thing. I'd have done the same. Yeah, it wouldn't even occur to me because there's a rule in the book for what happens when it happens. And you know, I mean, we've all made mistakes with stuff like that, and had the guy in the, you know, you're, you're setting up your team, and you've got, it's game four, game five, and you've got, you've got twelve miniatures, and you put them all in your dugout, and then you put them all in on the table, and then you go, oh shit, um, it's happened to everybody at least once that they've remembered and then taken a guy off. Um, before, mostly before the game starts, but occasionally you can understand exactly why it would happen. And there's a game mechanic for there's a bit in the rulebook which explains what to do in that situation. So um, I, I have no problem with calling somebody on that. Mm. Uh, I, I would probably have reminded him beforehand, but they didn't. They, he, he, I, from the watching the stream, they didn't realize um, yeah. until turn two or three. It was until until he'd actually removed the dwarf and then went. I thought you had a spare guy. So that guy was the twelfth man. So. Yeah. It was then when they realized it, which is totally understandable. And for that situation, there's a rule for how you deal with it. So it was correct. Yes, printed in the rule book because yes. so many people just accidentally forget and put an extra player on. Yes. Mm. Accidentally. Yes. Yes. It's really common, Jim. I mean, blood bowlers are a certain age. Their, their memory is often not yeah, great. No. Mm. It's really hard to count all the way up to eleven when you do it all the time. <laughs> and it's your main sport, hobby, and game. Yeah. I mean, some people some people can't count to eleven fifty PC. Even people who've like you know been true. top top ten in the NAF rankings <laughs> somehow still forget these things. It's it's really yep. weird, isn't it? <laughs> really is unusual. I've never forgotten myself ever, but you know it is funny how these people who yeah do somehow do yeah very real yeah. a very real thing that people forget. It is. I mean, and, and mistakes are made. Uh, yeah. And yes, edges are fudged. And to ensure that no one's too worried about either of those situations, there is a rule. Yep. And it's, it's you know, it's, it's, it's good to... Uh, it's one of the things about why it's okay that, the, that you declare actions and stuff is fine on tabletop is because of the fact that they're hoping that, you, you know, you'll be engaging with the other person as a human being. And uh, having a conversation with them, at which point it doesn't matter. Like you, you realise that it's okay to say this and say yeah. that. Well, this guy's going to be doing the blitz action. This guy's going to be doing the pass. It's, it's fine because you're having that conversation as the game goes on. I only treat them as humans. Perfectly. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's just a little Eliodism for you. And uh, yeah. yes, Daedle, would elf catches do come with sprint? Yes. Yeah. Yes, they do. Correct. God, now I'm down to seventy-five percent. It's it's slipping away this match. It's <laughs> slipping away. Don't say it's over. It's not over, but it's slipping uh, away. So, pretty nice attack from the our defense from the elves here, being able to come in and get the hits. Uh, priorities uh, getting down the two tacklers is pretty huge. Having the tree stuck on that tackler is pretty massive. 
Um, gonna be a while before he's able to get the other guy back. The, the Crocs activates, lads! Whoa. And kills a guy! Oh, wow. Wrestle Guard, a great nice. player. Doesn't Apo it? Doesn't Apo, yeah. Wow. Was he minus armor? I think he might. He have was. Been. He was minus agility. Ah. Yeah. It's a shame because Wrestle Guard's great couple of skills, yeah. isn't it? He was the only guard yeah. as well. Yeah. Huge removal. But you know, AG three. Oh yeah, and yeah. He's, he's, he's also not the strength for. Oh wow. Yeah, measuring is absolute bullshit. Like, it's so insane, right? Like, you literally you literally measure, like, and you say, like, you know, these guys are 24 inches away. I, I, will, I will make sure that these guys... Do you agree that these guys are over 24 inches away? And they're like, yep. yes, they are over 24 inches away. And then their next turn, they move 12, and they try to rapid-fire you within 12 inches. And you're like, yeah, you're we like, established you we were over 24 we away. And then they yeah. thought, yeah, but look, I'm, I'm, I'm 12 away now. And it's like, <laughs> <laughs> you fucking dicks. Yeah. Yeah, I, I uh, thankfully don't have to, you know, if I've said this is the way it is, then this is the way it is, like, I don't kind of accept when somebody says... Well, I don't accept it either, but, like, you, you end up arguing and have to call a judge and stuff. Yeah, for sure. Like, because what can you do? Like, you can't twat them, can you, as much as you want to? Sure. It's fucking bollocks, man. And then all the time-wasting and stuff, it, it's, it, honestly, tabletop is horrific in so many ways. Oh, uh, like, please don't give... Look, just because you've had some bad times doesn't mean it's the whole of tabletop. It's not the whole of tabletop, but it is... I said in so many, so many ways. ways, which yeah. I thought was yeah. not entirely unfair. There are mm. some bad things about yeah. tabletop at times. Yeah. yeah. Yep. There are some people with dickish behaviours at times. Yeah, it's not yep. everyone. Um, of course it isn't everyone. It's not everyone. And in the main, tabletop is a fabulous experience, enjoyed by many. You know, there is a good time to be had on the tabletop scene. And most people will treat you with respect, will play with a smile on their face... Yes. Tell you if something has gone wrong, and we'll say, "Oh, you have forgotten to do that, mate. Have a go at it." Yeah. And mostly, that'll be how it is. Exactly. But it's some people do go try and hard. It is their hobby. They want to try hard. They see themselves as you know likely to win that weekend, and they will take every inch they can get. And you can't begrudge them that either. No, well, nope. I would suggest if you're going to go to a tabletop, expect both. <laughs> expect to have a really good time, but expect some tryhards. And let everyone have their experience while you have yours. Let's try hard and let's cheat though, right? And no one tries harder yeah, yeah. than me, and I, I never cheat, and I fucking hate cheaters. Yeah, hundred percent. Well, I've cheated accidentally, so I'm not going to totally, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true, um, true. Slag them off. You know, people do still make mistakes. People do um, make mistakes. Sometimes yeah. they are genuine mistakes. Sometimes it's a bit fudged around the corner as to how genuine, but. That's life, and it. Oh, he still can't corner. close a cage. These oh, oh, wow. quick and strong, and yet just running away from these wood elves. No, oh, well now this is a two D on the ball, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Yes, yes, it is. Because that guy there that looks like a catcher with the nerves of steel is in fact a thrower. Yes. That's an immediate two D on the ball. Doesn't even need to use his dancer. And I understand it has to get away from that evil dancer. The world would be better off without that dancer. And certainly, this game would. Mm. But without even doing anything, he's dominating so much how the lizard's doing things that it's um, yeah, yeah, mm. it's given him that. Yeah. However, yeah, another good, another good bounce for the lizards. Yeah, it is. Yeah, can still make this very awkward, but yeah, Ooh, yeah grab. it's not that good, is it? This is uh, it's out of the way. Yeah, yeah, this is. Oof, he's going to get the ball. Yeah, it's just worse places he could have gone. Jimmy yes, is what I, yeah. I guess I was yeah, saying. Sure. Yeah, Ooh. it wasn't the worst, but. It, and it doesn't get it, except with the reroll. Yeah, re you surely re pump it in because it yeah. wins the game, and it wins the game. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying it's over. Yeah, it's not over. No, <laughs> it's not over. You can push him, and then he can two D or three D the ball. Probably just two D, right? Oh God, what do you do? Do you do you try the dodge to go for the three D? I guess you have to. I guess you have to do this dodge first, right? Because you have to three D. You have to go in down with the three D. Or you can block and then try and power him. And just shove him there and onto us, yeah. No, I don't know, I still like the dodge and then the 3D. Yeah. Oh well, get some of the two. Well, yep, that will do it. Problem is now he doesn't have any skinks to respond, right? Yeah, it does have oh, people... Does. He's, got uh, he's got this yeah, guy, so he's got one left. <laughs> he does, yeah, because he can just dodge off. I don't think uh, he can so... get away from this. Oh, here we go, Crocs, yeah, Crocs tags him. It's rough though, isn't it? I mean, he's removing a lot of he's removing a lot of elves now. He is. But, uh, but how you do know, you keep the ball safe? Still one nil down, and oh, oh. he's failed it. It's one in nine as well. Oh. Now you definitely don't keep the ball safe. Yep. 
Don't say it's over though. I've never had anyone really rage against them in my table in tabletop, apart from the guy who who offered me out for a fight. <laughs> but apart from that, what did you what did you say to him that? Uh... I just called him a cheating scene all night until, okay. until he was, offered me out. Was he, was he being a, a cheating scene? I mean, he was a cheating scene. He literally yeah, cheated against me. Yeah, fair enough. So then, that all seems entirely reasonable. Indeed. There wasn't a fight because I nearly, I was nearly falling asleep at the time. That he, <laughs> he wanted to fight. And I was like, no. <laughs> and then I did pass out later that night, funnily enough. So there you go. But I mean, that was the only time. And it, it, wasn't, during the, it wasn't during the match. It, during the match, he just argued incessantly. Taking up all the time because he was, you know, he was a time wasted type of person. I would not have taken him. As I said, I literally passed out like later on that night. Not too much later, either. I passed out. <laughs> so there you go. Yeah, I, I think uh, I think people uh, freak out more when they're playing online because uh, it's a computer and you can, uh, you know, it's an inanimate object that you can scream at. I've 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 very seldom seen. I I can't say I haven't, but I've. I, I, I've very seldom seen anybody actually lose their shit during the game. I mean, I'm probably more raging than my opponents because it's my opponents that are wrong or cheating, you know, whereas I'm always right and never cheating. <laughs> so. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Basically. Yep, yep, I'm much more likely to rage than my opponents. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I've heard stories of that, uh, Albo. I've never seen it myself. <laughs> <laughs> I, had, I had one guy rage a little bit because <laughs> I wasn't deliberately okay I wasn't deliberately doing this to try and tilt him but I was throwing my dice and hitting his models um, occasionally but it definitely wasn't deliberately to try and tilt him gets the hand off and boom do there we have it 2-0 yep I definitely wouldn't do it because he was a cock <laughs> definitely not <laughs> I'm not going to say this is over. <laughs> it's not over. Four hours, four hours you waited for this game, wasn't it? Well, yeah, it's not over. Not over, no. There's a one turn. Um, and two. Yeah, no, this one's good. This one's done. Uh, it's, it's technically not over, it's literally not over. It's turn 16 yeah. for help. So yeah. he could he could get a riot and a one turn, and then he could get a yeah, blitz and, and he could score. So it's not over, right? It's literally not over. Yeah. All but over. That's what I mean when I say it's over, but yes, it's not over. <laughs> it's technically not over. Technically correct to say it's not over. <laughs> I'd love to see Dave. Yeah, not, I'd love to see saying... Dave versus Flicky in tabletop. <laughs> Let's fucking yeah, go. Just remember, we're not dropping the well. DBGGs anymore because. Well, it turns out that means not only to lose, but to lose even worse than anyone possibly realised. Mm. <laughs> Worse, worse yeah. than Dimmy. Yeah. <laughs> Dimmy yeah. G is worse than Dimmy. He is. Oh, Dimmy G man. is. He did worse even than Dimmy did. Yeah. And Dimmy did not do well. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. man. Poor Dimmy G. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, this guy's 24%. He's getting. He's doing better and better. This is terrible. <laughs> God damn it. Here we go. Big Crocs hit. Doesn't get him. He's not going to going to take that push all day long. Yeah. The fuck out of dodge, pal. Push it good. Yeah. Uh, you can blitz him at least. Oh. Uh, okay. We fell on the lonely lineman. And uh, that's it. Okay. That's all she wrote. Mm. Nice. Yeah. So, um, congratulations, Tycho. I think he was very lucky. Um, but the racial matchup favoured him a lot, didn't it? And uh, I think that strength four dancer is a chalice winner all by itself, Jim. Yes, yeah, it's pretty it's, nice. It's really I think good it needs anything else or anyone else. Yep, yep. And uh, I mean, the dice were definitely on the side. I helped tried some things and just didn't nothing worked out from did it. So there you go. Yeah. Hey, commiserations to him. Thank you very much, Kalon and Purple Chest. Absolutely glorious as always, guys. Pleasure. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>